Hello everyone, welcome to my first tutorial on how to use AutoCAD 2013. Today we're going to be talking about the basics on how to use AutoCAD and mostly for the few first tutorials we're going to be talking about the 2D. So as you can see we have our workspace. I can get around the workspace by clicking down on the scroll bar and move around and I can zoom in and out by moving the scroll up and down. A few options from this down here that you'll have to work with or you may want to work with are the grid display and dynamic input. So the dynamic input is uh, I'll show you right now. So I'm going to select L, which is shortcut for line, and also gives me a bunch of different options that I can select from other than line. And then I hit enter. So now it's asking me to select my first point. And personally, I like to see what I'm working with as far as uh, when I'm inputting data. So I click on dynamic input, and now I have these boxes that I can fill. So I'm going to start at 0, 0 and it started my line. That you can see my line is far off to the left so I can either go move around to find it or I can click on the perspective that I'm working on and it will take me right to where I'm working. So I can now select the distance of the line and if I hit tab I can also select the degree that I'll be working on or want to work with. So I'm going to select 35 and then click enter. So now it gave me a 35 degree line. So I can hit enter again to finish working on that or I can click line again or continue from where I left off. But because I already clicked enter and stopped working on that line I have to find this point right here to connect my lines to it. And it's a very difficult thing for you to try to click and find that location. So I'm going to show you how or what options to use to uh, let it automatically snap for you. So let's say I already, as you can see, I already clicked this point here and now I can select the distance and the degree. But if I don't want to, I can just hit escape and that finished it for me. So now to get the lines to snap together, I'm going to click on object snap shortcut is F3 then now it's snapped right for me snap again so as you can see I can select whatever degree I want I can move freely you can see the line moving around but if I click on this, this mode right here F8 it's going to give me 80 degree angles so it's you can't you don't you can't move the cursor and select anything in between. However, if you're working with this mode and you want to get a 20 degree angle or whatever angle you want, you select the distance, then you click tab, and then you select the degree you want and you hit enter. So it gave me a 20 degree line. Let's say I had two lines right here, right above each other. And first I wanna identify one, change, they're both white, but I want to change one to green, so I can click on it and go up here and uh, select the whatever color I want. So now, if I click, it's, I know there's two lines there, but I can't get to the other line. So I can go down here and click on selection cycling now when I click on the line it's going to ask me what line I want because they're right above each other. I'm going to select the white one or none and now I'm going to click on quick properties and I'm going to select the line and I'm going to select the white line and then I'm going to change it to red. So now if I want to delete the blue line I select the blue line then I hit delete. So now I have only the red line. So as far as snap options, you can you had, there's a bunch of different options that you can work with. 
So I'm going to turn off this or ortho mode so I can move freely. And now I'm going to left click, uh, hit control, hold it down, and right click. Then I'm going to go to O snap settings. And this is going to give me a bunch of different options on how or what kind of snap options I want to have. So currently I have the end point selected, midpoint, and center. And you can select whatever you want depending on your, your needs for that project. Then you can click OK. This concludes our first, first tutorial. I hope you benefited from it and looking forward to seeing you in our future videos. Good luck.